Hey, this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. Today we're looking at the Hawthorne Wi-Fi push camera units. So this one in front of us is a 300 foot large reel uh, Wi-Fi unit. They come in a couple different configurations. So they start at a 100 foot micron, which has a 7 8 inch camera head or a one inch camera head and a hundred foot length. And then um, they can go up to 400 feet, which would be the same large reel, just a more cable length on there. Um, and then we also have camera heads from um, for these bigger ones, 1.23 inch, 1.43 inch, and a 1.68 inch. You can get that in straight view or in self leveling, which is image is always right side up. And they all have a sond built into the camera head. It's in the spring section. So it's a 512 Hertz sond, which will give you a location underground behind walls. Um, you just use a locator detection wand with that to find that. Uh, and usually those will give you depth readings as well. Um, the unit will have an on-screen foot counter, so you'll know how much cable length you've pushed off of the reel, and that'll display on the screen and any images and video that you capture. These units are super durable. Um, they're really solid. They're usually what we recommend if you're doing daily inspections, um, heavy inspections, you wanna go really far. You're going in cast iron or areas that might scratch up or, or be more um, damaging. Um, they're also what we sell for municipalities and city inspections. Um, landfills, uh, oil and gas lines, um, a, a lot of, of areas that might come into contact with uh, a lot of different solvents and stuff like that too. Um, even some mining applications as well. So as you can tell, um, the large reel is still not crazy, crazy big. Um, you're probably looking at around 70 pounds or so. Um, you can get a mid-size and then the micron reel as well. So those would be smaller and more portable. On the back side, so this is the camera head. It's got the lights on right now. This one is self-leveling, so you'll see it move around. The spring section is really flexible. You can tie this kind of into a knot. Um, and then as well, it's really solid. So even if you're smacking the camera head, you're not really gonna damage it that much um, or at all. On the back side, you'll see that <clears throat> there is a battery cradle. So power button will turn on the unit. Um, the battery cradle will take a Milwaukee rechargeable battery. So this can power the unit for two hours, three hours or longer, depending on what size battery you get. Um, you can also switch them out fairly quickly so you can keep on going. Um, and then again, you've got the counter mechanism built into here. So when you spin the reel, it'll tell you how much cable length you come off of there. And then just the power button to control it as well. Um, if we put this back in over here, you can just see when you take out a phone, the unit will connect into the app. So we've got the app right here. You can connect into the camera. Um, what you're gonna do is this generates its own Wi-Fi signal. It'll do it in the middle of a beach. It'll do it in the middle of a forest. You're gonna take your phone or your tablet, connect into the signal. And as long as this has power and this has power, you can use it just fine. Um, it's gonna prompt you if you wanna record audio. So because your phone or your tablet can record audio on its microphone, you can make voice notes as you're doing your inspections. I'll do only this time. You'll see right now, live image is on here. Not really an issue with lag on the, on the live image. And then on-screen footage counters in the corner. I can move that around the screen if I want to. Um, as well, image capture, video capture are right here. Just goes into the gallery on your device. So anything you save will be saved on your phone or on your tablet. And then from there, you can email, you can text, you can do whatever you want.